Praise God. Hallelujah. We give God all the glory. It is all by His grace. If we can live and move and have our being, then it is by grace. It is not by our good deeds. It is by the grace of God. Look how wonderful He is waking us up each morning, letting us see the sun, the moon, letting us breathe His air that He gives unto us. Thank you so much. We are so thankful, O oh God. Today is another day that you have made. We thank you and we say, Lord Jesus, help us to rejoice and be glad in that day, in this day. Thank you so much. Even as we go through your word, we pray that you speak to us in a special way. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Amen. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? We'll take our devotional reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, the verses 12 to 15. Hallelujah. Let's hear the word of God. And we urge you, brethren, to recognize those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. And to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake. Be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn those who are unruly, comfort the faint-hearted, uphold the weak, be patient with all, see that no one renders evil for evil to anyone, but always pursue what is good both for yourselves and for all. There are so many things written from verse 16, talking about prayer and how we should rejoice in the Lord, then how we should not quench the spirit. These are all counsel, counseling or counsels that will re really help us Christians to grow in the Lord. They are practical things that Paul was urging the people in Thessalonica. Today, we are not in Thessalonica. We are spread all over the world. And the Spirit of God is speaking through this word to us that we should recognize those who are leaders, those who look up after us, those who preach to us, those who teach us. Do you actually pray for your leader do you pray for your, your, your pastor? Do you pray for the leaders of the church? We do not pray for them, but we tend to criticize them. Today, the word of God is drawing attention to it that we have not done enough. We need to pray for them because they are also humans as we are. Let's have time for them, not only giving them gifts or giving them anything, but prayer is the most important thing to do for your leader. And the Bible says that we should esteem them very highly in love and for their work's sake. It says that we should be peace, we should have peace among ourselves. Today in the house of God, we see so many things going on, fightings here and there, quarreling here and there. No, this does not show that the Spirit of God is living within us. Let, it, let us surrender our lives unto Him totally. Yes, He does not need half and half. Jesus needs us fully. He needs our all. He needs our all so He can use us to glorify His wonderful name. It says that we should be patient with everybody. And that we should... Want the unruly, but we should comfort those who are faint-hearted. We need to help each other stand on our feet. We need to pursue what is good for ourselves and for others. We need not pay evil for evil. We serve a God who forgives. He has forgiven us through his mercy. He has saved us through his grace. That is why we are still alive. Therefore, we also need to forgive others the wrongs they do to us. May the Holy Spirit help us to remain faithful unto Him, to put 
to the cross, our, our sinful nature, our fleshly nature, and then be obedient unto the Spirit of God. Spirit of God, we need you to help us to be obedient unto you. O oh God, unto you, unto our leaders, and unto everyone we come across. Thank you so much in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, let's share the word and be a blessing to others.